How to use Remitly step by step. Hello, with this tutorial I will not waste your time, we will go straight to the point and everything you will learn I will teach you step by step. I will teach you how to use Remitly, from downloading the app on your mobile and creating a new account, to carrying out the money transfer process, let's get started. Remitly is one of the most reliable transfer apps on the market today, you can send money to various countries with this app. How to create a Remitly account. The process is free and very simple, we will do it from your mobile app, we access the application store of our mobile device, whether you have Android or iPhone, Remitly is available for both systems. In the search engine, we write, Remitly. We look for it as well, the correct application appears in the first position, we click on, install. In some devices you must click install two times. The download process has started. We can see that the installation was fast and has been carried out quickly. However, this may take a little longer or it may be faster depending on the type of device you have, and the quality of your internet connection. The smartphone is analyzing if it is a secure app. When finished, click open. Choose the language you want to use Remitly in by clicking here, I'll choose Spanish, then click continue. Here we have a brief presentation of the service, to create a new account we click on create a new profile. In the next window we select where we want to send money, our country of origin will be reflected here. We will send money to Mexico for this example, once the destination country of the transfer has been selected, click on next, once the destination country has been selected, Remitly will show us some options where the recipient can collect the money that we are going to send him, we click next to continue. It's time to create our profile, write here your email address, here create a new secure password for your account, after completing both fields, we click join Remitly, in the next window you have the option to configure your account to access with biometric data, with your fingerprint, for example, this in order to keep your account secure, I'm going to give no for now. We already have the Remitly account created. Here we have more Remitly presentations, we click on start. How to send money through Remitly. After creating your account, the next thing that will appear is the section to send money. Here you must write the amount of money you want to send, in my case I will send dollars because I am in the United States, we will use the example of $1000, automatically Remitly will complete this field. Where the $1,000 converted to Mexican pesos appears, we can see that they will receive 18,790 Mexican pesos. Best of all, the exchange rate in Remitly is always transparent. Here they will always inform you of that, in this case it tells us that $1 is equivalent to 18 Mexican pesos and 79 centavos at the time of recording this video. Here it shows us that the fee is zero, so the total cost of the transfer will be $1,000, this zero fee is usually Remitly's new customer promotion, we click on continue. Now we have to select the method of delivery of the money, this means how the recipient will receive the money that we are going to send him, for Mexico you have two options, deposit to a bank account, or cash withdrawal from a physical branch of businesses associated with Remitly. If we select the first option, bank deposit, we will see the list of banks available in the country where we are going to send money, in this case we can see banks in Mexico. We have to ask the other person what is the bank where they have an account and we select it here. Once you select a bank they will ask you for the account number, CLABE number, or the debit card number of that account. These data must be provided by the recipient. Click on continue once you have everything complete, then pay your transfer and that's it. The money arrives in the recipient's account approximately between 3 to 5 business days. Wait. Now let's look at the fastest transfer option, the cash delivery method. We go back a few steps, remember this section where we had to select the delivery method? Well, instead of selecting bank deposit now we are going to select cash withdrawal. Here you have many options to choose from, you have to select a business where you want the money you are going to send to be withdrawn. You have to discuss this with the recipient, ask them which one suits them best, in the case of Mexico almost all of them have it better in OXXO. So if we select OXXO they will be able to withdraw the money from an OXXO store in the country. Here we have a problem, when trying to send $1000 Remitly informs us that it will be impossible through OXO. We can reduce this amount or look for alternatives, I will change the amount to show the OXXO example. We write here $159, which is the maximum we can send, that is, 3000 Mexican pesos. This is not a Remitly problem, it is an amount restriction established by Mexican law. To send $1000 to Mexico the best option is a bank deposit. Click on continue. We select OXO, now we have to fill in these fields, the name, surname, and second surname of the other person, attention. 
As this little message says, the information that we are going to provide here must exactly match the identity documents of the other person, the one who is going to withdraw the money, if we write it wrong it is possible that the money cannot be withdrawn. After filling in all the fields, click on continue. Here we select the city where you live, and the state to which the city corresponds, Guadalajara, Jalisco, for example, we click on continue. In this section you can enter the phone number of the other person to receive notifications of the transfer, but keep in mind that this is not mandatory, you can omit it. It is time to load all your personal information, your name, your last name, your date of birth, and then press continue. Again a pop-up message where we have to confirm that the data we have just provided here is real and correct, that it appears as it is on my identity document. Now we have to fill in the details of our home address, apartment number, city, state, and zip code. If you don't know the zip code for your area, all you have to do is ask on Google and it will appear quickly. Here we write our cell phone number, click continue. The time for payment has arrived, we can pay with a Visa or MasterCard. Here we write our card number, here the expiration, security code, and our name as it appears on our card. We scroll down and click on next, finally we must confirm the transfer and that's it. At the end of the transfer, Remitly will give you a transactional code which you must provide to the recipient so that he can withdraw his money with that code. This is in the case of cash withdrawals, but if you send a bank deposit this step is skipped.